It's said that an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. That's why scouting your fields for any potential pest problems early on is so important, as it can save you plenty of money and headaches in the long run. Uh, there's no way to know what's happening in the field if you don't go in the field and look. And our growers are, farming's a very busy business and they're doing a lot and it's really important for most growers that they hire a scout to do that for them because most growers don't have the time. Uh, but I, I definitely like to see a grower or a scout in the field in the first 14 days after planting. You know, we don't want insects to be a yield limiting factor in our crops. Uh, at the same time, we would, don't want to overspend in terms of uh, applying pesticides when we don't need to. With all the input costs that go into growing a crop, farmers might be tempted to scale back on their time and money commitment to scouting, and that can lead to some common mistakes that will cause long-term problems. It's not okay to say, well, I've got 100 acres, let me check one field and then treat them all the same. It just doesn't work that way, and we're going to spend money we don't need to spend, and we're going to miss pest problems if we do it like that. really need to put boots in every field. But the main point is that they do do it on a regular basis. We recommend at least once per week. Uh, if we knew when problems were coming, you know, it wouldn't be necessary, but, but it's important that we look at each and every field at least every week. A lot of our pest problems start on field edges and then move into the field from there. So if you're not walking the whole field, that's a, that's a big issue that, that especially people who aren't professional scouts tend to make that mistake. But I think the main thing is get in the field. If you're going to do it yourself, don't neglect it. You got to do it. And it takes time, and to do it right takes a fair amount of time, and that's why we tend to hire people to do it. But if you're going to do it yourself, you just got to you got to set aside time and then actually go do it. Don't put it aside thinking, oh, i got more important things to do. While no pests should be ignored, there is one in particular that cotton growers should be on the lookout for this year. We really want to encourage farmers to keep a close eye on corn earworm. Uh, that's primarily going to happen when cotton begins to bloom. Uh, there have been problems with BT cotton performance in other parts of the country. And even though they were more of a problem two years ago, farmers should still be very wary of potential whitefly problems. After what we experienced in 2017 with whiteflies, you know, whiteflies are still on all of our minds and we're very observant for them. You know, it's very important, even just detecting a few whiteflies is important for us to make a mental note of. As for the peanut crop, one pest in particular could be widespread considering all the warm, dry weather during planting season. And the big thing that's come on in the last uh, couple of weeks is an, an insect called the lesser cornstalk borer. And that is the most important insect pest that we deal with in the southeast on peanuts. And it's a hot, dry weather pest. And with the weather we had the end of May and 1st of June, it's absolutely perfect for lesser cornstalk borer infestation. Reporting from Tifton, I'm Damon Jones for the Farm Monitor.